Hi there, welcome to Tall Pines Golf Club. My name's Tim, I'm the professional here at Tall Pines. Today I'm going to take you on a little tour of the course, hole by hole, and give you a few of my pro tips on how to get round in the lowest score possible. Let's get started. So guys, here we have the first hole. We've got a par four, 421 yards from the whites, 411 yards from the yellows, 401 yards from the reds. Stroke index 10. And we play down the hill. And as we go down the hill, it sweeps around to the right as a dog leg. And we got about 150 yards from the dog leg. So my pro tip here is you don't really need to hit driver, but basically you want to hit it around 200 to 250 and that gets you to the dog leg, ready for your second shot from 150. Quite right, as a plane goes over me, we are very close to the airport here. I'm still on a 150 marker on the first, and if you hit a good drive here, you should have left yourself right in the middle of the fairway, 150 yards to the green, which is just down there. And it's a nice flat wide green that you're aiming at. So really wherever the pin is there, there's only one place you don't want to go, and that's long. If you go long, it's thick rough, it's even thicker rough beyond that, and you're really struggling to make an up and down. So anything just short of this green that might even run on is the perfect shot. <laughs> Okay guys, so I hope you made a par on that first hole. It's a nice warm up hole down the hill. Now we got a tough hole. Second hole, par four, stroke index four, 410 yards off the whites, 400 off the yellows and reds, going straight back up the hill. You're aiming at that big tree in the middle of the fairway in the distance. You've got about 150 from there into the green, which goes straight up the hill. This needs to be a driver hole, but watch out because you've got out of bounds all the way up the left on hedge line, and you've got trees lining the right side of the fairway too. So make sure whichever club you hit, you can hit it straight. So here I am, middle of the fairway on the second hole, 150 marker from here, and you play straight up the hill to the green at the top. Make sure you take enough club, because if it doesn't, it's coming back down that hill. You've got this big tree on the left of you here. Some of you might be too far left on this hole slightly, and you're gonna get blocked out. So make sure if you can, that you're up the right side of this fairway, and you'll have a much clearer angle to the green. <laughs> So we're on the 13 now, guys. You might even hear some more plane noise in the background, so we're getting closer to that runway. Third hole, 323 yards from the whites and the red tees, and slightly less than that off the yellow tees of 314 yards. So you basically play down the hill drop hole, but it's a direct 90 degree dog leg up to the left. So top tip on this hole is do not hit your driver if you hit it more than 200 yards. All you need is a 150 to 200 yard club off the tee that will get you up and over the trees on the left. That's your best line and you'll be left with about a wedge into the green. If you can't do that, aim between the two trees, play it to the middle of the fairway, and you're gonna have a shot to the green. So if you hit the perfect drive, guys, you'll end up here, which is about 120 yards away from the green, straight up the hill. The further you hit it, the more you're likely you're gonna be up in this rubbish over here, or further up the slope where you're going to have an unlevel lie. So here's a perfect place to play it. You have a much flatter lie for your second shot and you're playing straight up the hill with a wedge in your hand. So up the hill, make sure you take enough club. The green is anywhere between the big telegraph tower and the big tree on the right hand side. If you aim it in that gap, you're going to hit the green. <laughs> fourth 
guys, the first par three on the course, you got 200 yards off the white tees, 170 off the yellows, and 146 off the reds. We have literally got the runway running as close as we can to us just here. So you will get some planes taken off and some interesting sights. But the par three is played straight down towards the hedge line there. There's a big tier drop off where you really don't want to miss it down the right. The best players up the left hand side, if you can't carry it more than 150, make sure you land it short left and it's going to bounce down to the right. If you can carry it all the way, left side of the green is your best place because if you miss it right, you are dead. There is a bunker short right. In there is actually not too bad because it's going to stop it running down any further to the right. So we made it to the fifth hole. This is our par five, first par five you're gonna to come to. It's 482 yards off the whites, 456 off the yellows, and 436 off the reds. So the way you wanna play this is it plays all the way out to the distance, and we got a hedge, which is mostly out of bounds up the left-hand side. So really you got the sixth hole and seventh hole missing to the right. That's your best bet if you're gonna miss either side because you've got loads of space. If you can, hit your driver out there and you're aiming left side to center of the fairway because everything's going to tend to run down to the right side. So as you can see guys, when you're in the middle of the fairway here on the fifth, it's very much sloped from left to right as you play it. So the ball is going to be below your feet if you're a right-hander and above your feet if you're a left-hander. So what you want to make sure you do when you approach the green, you're around 150 to 200 yards out here. You can have a go at the green if you're long enough, but make sure you play it up the left-hand side because again, if you miss it right, the ground really runs away from you. It can start to bounce into some thick rough down there. So aim it slightly left side of the green, use the kind of ground to your advantage and let it feed into the left side from there. If you're a longer hitter, you might have been able to cut a little bit of the corner off, off the tee, and that's going to leave you a lot less into the green, so you're probably going to have more like a mid iron to short iron in. For most of us mere mortals, we're going to be here, and it's going to leave us about 200 yards in with ball below your feet, so not an easy shot. So you made it to the sixth hole. Here we have another par four. It's 365 off the white tees just here. We got 355 and 346 off the yellows and the reds respectively. And basically it's a par four that plays up and over a blind hill. There is a 150 marker post, the yellow post out there. That is your aim. That's where you actually want to hit it. It's the right side of the fairway, but the fairway slopes from right to left quite a lot. So anything that lands in the fairway is going to kick left. And so you want to make sure you hit it up the right side to start with. If you can, just hit a little fade off the yellow post and you're going to be in great shape. The unofficial pro tip is to blast it up the fifth hole and make sure you shout four. So you've hit a good drive here. Long hitters are probably going to blast it over the yellow post with the driver and you might be left with a flick with the wedge but most of us are going to be hitting it to about here and that's going to leave you about 130. You can see this fairway really slopes from right to left for right-hander, so if you're a right-hander, ball's above your feet, left-hander, ball's below your feet. So make sure you factor that in when you play your shot into the green because the ball's typically going to curve right to left more. The green sits flat there, but it's a big drop-off to the left-hand side, so the one place you don't want to miss it is left or short left because you're going to be in either a bunker or you're going to kick down into some really nasty stuff. So make sure you get the right club and aim it slightly right side of the green if you can, and that way you're going to be on the green, no problem putting. So 
here you have the seventh hole. This is a stroke index two, second hardest hole on the golf course now, par four. So you've got 389 off the white tees behind the camera there, 379 off the yellows and 359 off the reds. So the angle you want to take on this hole is actually not down the center of the fairway because it dog legs right to left round the corner. If you can, you want to try and hug the left hand side where the trees start and that line will give you a perfect spot to land the ball allowing for a little bit of run out into the middle of the fairway. If you hit it up the middle or middle to right, you're most likely going to run out of fairway and be in the trees. Okay guys, again, I'm on a slope. So this fairway runs from left to right. So right hand, you're going to get ball a little bit below your feet, left hand the ball a little bit above your feet, but we're on a 150 marker here. If you hit a great drive, this is where you want to end up. Middle of the fairway, 150 yards out to the green. The green sits with bunkers left, bunkers right. So you're really aiming to thread it through between the two bunkers. And anything that lands a little bit short is going to hit an upslope, so it probably won't make the green. So you want to make sure you try and land this on the green or hit it low enough that it really chases up there. This is actually deceivingly big green, so make sure you get the right club. Make it through seven unscathed with a par, you're doing really well. So now you're on the eighth tee, 347 yard par four off the whites, 337 off the yellows, 327 off the reds, stroke index 16. So it's a little bit of respite, but don't be fooled. It's still a tough golf hole. You've got a dog leg, a little bit left to right. So you're sweeping round to the right hand side. Trees protect the right hand side. So anything leaks slightly right, you're gonna get caught out by trees. And if the trees don't get you, there's some well-placed bunkers halfway down the fairway at around the 150 into the green mark. So make sure you're as straight as you can down here, but don't go left. If you go left, you're dead, you're in trees, you're in hedges, and you're probably not gonna find your golf ball. So this is one for an iron, off the tee, 200 yards, keep it in play and hit it as straight as you can. Some longer hitters might have a go at this green. It is in reach, especially when it's downwind. So you might find you can pick up driver. The, if you do hit driver, the line has to be a lot further right than it looks. You gotta take it over these trees on the right and you've got to carry it about 300 yards. So here we are in the middle of the fairway on the eighth. You've missed the bunkers. You've got it past the 150 marker and you left yourself about 130 into the green. The green sits in a little horseshoe bank shape at the back which stops the ball going too far, but you've got bunkers front left, so make sure you avoid those two. If you do go too far, there's not a lot of room, so you're probably gonna end up in the head, so make sure you're picking the right club here. If you come up short, the ball tends to stop very quickly and it doesn't run out, so picking the right club for the yardage on this green is very important because it is such a long green from front to back that you can be a good 30 feet away just with a missed club. <music> have our ninth hole. This is one of our prettiest holes on the golf course. I brought you across to the white tees and the red tees here. The yellow tees are actually played at a 90 degree different angle. If you go over the back of the eighth green through the hedge, you'll get to them there. But if you come to the left of the eighth green through the hedge, you'll come into the white tees and red tees. Got 159 from the whites, 149 from the yellows from the other angle, and 119 from the front of these tees off the reds. This little par three isn't as easy as it looks. You've got a nice wide green. That green slants a lot from back to front. So if you pitch anything on that green, it typically is gonna spin right back down to the front of the green. So when there's a pin near the back of this green, it's not very easy to get close to. If the pin's at the front, you've got a chance of getting it close. You might even have a chance of a hole in one, like me. Protected by three little bunkers, one left, one middle, and one right. So make sure you avoid those. They leave you a tricky little bunker shot. If you can get it on this green and two putt, believe me, that's a really good result. So 
So believe me, when you make it onto the green here, all the work is not done. This green slopes so severely from back to front that anything you put from the back, you will struggle to stop it by the time it gets to the front. So making sure that you just get away with a two putt here is vital to getting a par.